Hi everyone, it is me Kevin. I am back with yet another video. I know it has been quite a while since my last one, so sorry about that. I feel like there's not a lot that's been going on on the site, so I haven't really been super motivated to make any content, but don't get it twisted. I have been on every single day. I have been playing. I check on the site. I look at the news, and if there's something exciting, I probably would have said something about it by now. So with that said, there's actually something that I've been meaning to share with y'all, and I actually received a package, and I think it's from TNT. I'm assuming it's from TNT. If it's not, I will probably cut this entire section out of the video, but I actually feel really bad because they sent this to me like, wait, I should probably like hide all this information, but yeah, they sent this to me like a month ago, probably. They sent this, I think I received this maybe a couple days after the AMA that, I, the last AMA that I hosted, which was back in February at this point. I have a pretty good idea of what this is, but I really wanted to make sure that I opened this on camera so that I could kind of do kind of like an unboxing well, unpackaging video with y'all. These are like the, the oldest and worst scissors ever. I think I've had them for like 10 years at this point. So I really need to get new ones, but they don't cut very well. But they do the job. They do the job. It's not good, but it's good enough. That's my motto. So what I got was the tarot card, taro, tarot card, the tarot card deck from the Neopets team. This was developed by Andrew McMeal Publishing and... um. I remember I remember talking about this in the AMA, but I kind of forgot about all the details. I, they sent me this to review and like talk about, and I'm so sorry it took forever to get back to it, but you know what? I'm not gonna force myself. I have a job. <laughs> um, wow, my hair is looking crazy, huh? Oh, they also sent me this extra thing. Oh, and it comes with a redeem code. I'll be sure to redeem this on camera too then today. Does this come with one? Maybe. But this pin, it's the Battle Fairy. Let me open this one first. Oh, this is really cute. So it comes on this like little packaging. You gotta do like the make the beauty influencer skills. Oh, whatever. You got the gist of it. All right. So if we actually take a look at the tarot cards. So this is the front again. Lovely art here. And then we've got this side. And then we've got this side, and then this side, oops, and then this side, and then here's the back. It has a nice feel to it. It's quite matte. Oh, and it opens like this. So it starts off with a little booklet in the beginning. Again, it mirrors that front cover. It has a really nice feel to it. And inside the book, so I think this is like a guidebook on how to actually draw cards and like actually like speak to them. So there's like one card readings, reverse cards. Okay, so they then like, once you actually like get through some of the rules, they then have a little description for every card and like what it actually means. There's one called like the fool, that's me, the magician, etc., etc. And there's a page for every single card. It looks like, yep. Now that I have the descriptions, let me actually open the cards. So these are the cards. They're quite large. I don't have very big hands, to be honest. I have pretty small hands, but you know, um, maybe I can compare it to my phone. It's like, it's like, it's a basically like a little smaller than the iPhone 10's length, I guess. Oh, these are really pretty. The Fool. Wow, oh, there's a, wait, this is a lot of cards. Oh, they're like nice and like, um, like a thick cardboard material. The art on these are, is really good. And I think the art is somewhere online probably too, if you wanted to take a look at them, but. Oh, the lovers. I think that's Jazin and Nabil, was it? I forgot her name. It was in with like an angry Noil. Oh, this is my favorite so far. Death. There's Lord Derrigan in the background or like the art for him. That's pretty cool to me. Am I crazy or does he look a little bit, um, why does, why does he have abs like that? They really, uh, they really, they got him like juiced up. Maybe I can do like a quick draw, like, well, like maybe if I just go like this, just like that and pick one at random, maybe. All right, I have them on my lap right now, just like spread out. This one, Ace of Wands. There's Leisha. All right, let's look up Leisha. What does Leisha, what is, what does Leisha have in store for me? All right, so the Ace of Wands, I'm gonna read the description that they have listed here. The lush courtyard of Marital Castle bears witness to Leisha, a courageous and determined young student. Clad in her homemade armor, Leisha raises her toy or wand of Ultranova High. The pages of her magic book are held open to a new incantation. The plastic wand glows, not from LEDs, but from the force of her will. 
Leisha is certain the spell will work. Like all aces, the Ace of Wands is a sign of a new influx of energy. Since the Wands suit is representative of a fire, willpower, and spiritual consciousness, the Ace of Wands can be a bit harder to detect. Perhaps you feel the pull to explore a new spiritual practice, or there's a portion of your own personality that you feel emerging, or you have a new idea you'd like to pursue. The field around Marital Castle are green and lush, and you too are a fertile land for these ideas to emerge from. Take advantage of this surge of energy. Obviously, I'm, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I didn't. I'm, I'm sure I did not do anything right here, and I should not have pulled it that way. But it's sounding like this is saying I'm a creative person, and there's a lot of opportunities and ideas to be pursuing in the lush grass of the open fields around me. Something like that, right? Right. So I'll probably look into this a little bit more and actually like try to make me give myself like a more official reading. I feel like it'd be a little fun thing to do. So yeah. So I think this is actually in a lot of bookstores if I'm remembering correctly, and I think it's on Amazon as well. So I would definitely recommend getting this if you are interested in tarot cards at all. There's a lot of really cool artwork here that I think just kind of holds its own even from like an artwork artwork perspective. So it feels very worth it to me at least. Um, and for like 20 bucks, I don't know. I feel like it's, I feel like it's a good deal. This is like a lot of material. All right, so we are back in the game. Actually, the very first thing I'm gonna do is redeem the code on this pin that they sent me, and hopefully I get something cool. It would be really awesome if they gave me something expensive because I am poor. All right, so there's the code, get virtual item. I get an error, which I think means that it went through, but the item should be in my inventory now. The yellow floats in soap. It's a rare 101. Nothing else looks like it should be the item that I should get. Oh, series for key quest plushie code. So I guess they reused the item pool for this. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's worth like 140k. I don't think I will be selling it. I want to stick it in my gallery and remember this moment in my life. My gallery. Again, thank you TNT for sending this over. And I hope y'all get a little bit of an extra preview into how Neopets merch looks. I really do feel like they've put in a lot of effort to keep the merchandise feeling really high quality at least. Um, everything that I've gotten my hands on have felt really good. I uh, Even the Kachik hat that I wore, that felt really nice quality and also felt like really comfortable. It fit my big ass head. So it's definitely if you're a big head guy like me, it will fit your head. Do not worry. I think someone mentioned that they had heard people saying that they, they're spelled bad or something. I did not experience that. Mine smelled perfectly fine. So I don't know. Maybe it was like a product thing. Y'all, I have actually not been playing very much. I have not been playing NeoQuest. I have not been doing anything other than occasionally bumping ports. <laughs> and um, I think I've made very little progress to almost no progress on my pets. I don't know which ones were on here before, but this is what my pets look like now. Um, I did make some changes in terms of the NCUCs that are associated with some of them. Um, I've decided to actively start trying to zap Rico into a robot Kiri. If y'all remember my plans video way back when, I plan to make Rico a robot Kiri NCUC when the robots come out. There's really no reason for me to be doing this, but I figured, hey, I know that it would bother me if I was gonna add the robot token on Rico permanently and it didn't have the robot there. So hey, might as well go for it. I'm not zapping anything actively otherwise. So if you couldn't tell by now with Rico and now Kavino, uh, the Moroccan, the Moroccan tokens got released in the latest iteration. Derrigan, Fairy, and Grey are no longer in rotation. They got replaced by Baby, Plushie, and Moroccan. So another set of really cool um, pet styles that I can review shortly, but this is what Kavino looks like now. I had always planned on him being a Moroccan croc, so that's the vibe there. I'm still looking for that Jeb. I know I talked about it in one of my older videos that I would be going for a Jeb to attach to Kavino, but like, I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for them to rotate the weekly quest prizes because I don't know if y'all have been keeping up but like the quest log prizes have still not rotated it is literally the same prize pool that they had since like six months ago let me just double check when it released because I'm like actually curious how long it's been okay it got released in October 24th 2023 so it's been October to November December January February March so it's about to be five months since they released it and these have been in rotation none of these items are really worth very much anymore so I think they should still be rotating these like frankly like monthly probably if not less all right so i'm gonna stop ranting about that but anyways with that said once they rotate it and i think dom hinted at rotating at some point once they rotate it and if i see that the jebs are not in there i may just go and buy my own or something i don't know um otherwise yeah it is what it is nothing too crazy over here i think this pet is kind of new i recently traded for a coi or whatever 
We have Koi's over here. Um, I slapped a plushy Koi token on him very recently. I think, you know, I've been complaining about it for a while now. These are so blurry still. Like nothing's really changed, I don't think. And the plushies are more blurry than like all the other ones that we've gotten so far. So it's like even more jarring. I've been bumping a board on the side events board uh, to try and get like TNT's attention to it to like prioritize it maybe. I don't know. Does that work? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyways. TNT, please. NCUC is blurry. Please click the sharpen button. Y'all click the sharpen button. Plus one to enhance. I know it doesn't work that way, but you know what whatever let's take a look at the new nostalgic colors that recently came out baby was one of them now i will say this was one of the less exciting releases for multiple reasons so i'll start with babies some of the babies look so much cuter in their old art form which was really exciting to see but then on the flip side a lot of these look exactly the same as they do in their current day so there's just not as much like differences that we're kind of seeing um a really good example being like the baby cow like it's basically the same thing the bib does come as a wearable so like there's not much of a difference as you can see like even the mohawk but yeah for the most part they're kind of the same but then some of them are definitely different enough where i'm like okay i would be unhappy if they didn't actually bring these out the uni oh my gosh it's so different and so much cuter in its older form i love this version but also the baby ncuc is they're so blurry too I mean, I, like I said, they're all blurry, but I feel like the babies are even worse than the plushies and the plushies are pretty bad. Oh my gosh, the Norbu is so cute. I actually think the converted baby Norbu is already pretty cute, but the older one is just top tier. It's exquisite, exquisite. Um, The baby Grawl. Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely a lot better than the old version. Huge fan of the Galert. I think the new one is just, it's pretty cute too, but the old one definitely carries some kind of like nostalgic vibes for me. The Chombi, this one also is very reminiscent or like it just reminds me of the old times, but I think the new one looks pretty decent as well. Aisha looks almost exactly the same. I actually think I prefer the new Aisha over the old one. Um, the Bloomeru, <laughs> basically exactly the same. I would even say the new one's a better version of the old one. The Baby Drake looks pretty different. Honestly, the new one looks a lot better in my opinion, but the old one definitely has its like charm. There's like definitely something there where it just reminds you of the old Neopet style so hard. So yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't mad about the babies, but I think it was a little bit less exciting because there just weren't as many pet styles that are that different from the current or the current um, poses in that color. The next one was plushy. And again, not as exciting for me personally. Number one, because and I say this every time, even though I do like a lot of the plushies, but like I think the plushies are the ones that I'm one of the like I'm less hyped about them because every single plushie had a UC version. So these are all things that we've seen around the site for basically since conversion happened. Personally, less excited about it just because we already knew what everything was going to look like when the NCUC styles drop. And then lastly, the Marat. Moroccans came out. I was actually really surprised these came out so quickly. I actually thought that this, these would be one of the last ones just because I feel like they're a little bit less popular. But honestly, these had some of the most unique poses and it's really cool to see them be kind of re-released. This is definitely the one where a lot of auto conversion happens. So like we had not seen any of these older styles in a very long time on the game. And a lot of these older styles are definitely better for sure. Like this, you know, a lot of the fists got removed, which is awesome. It's still like slightly disorienting when I see things like when I see these new nostalgic NC styles on pets now. It's like, wait, I'm so used to seeing this converted version. And then suddenly I see people's actives with like this version. I'm like, oh, that looks so cool. Oh, wait, that's the NTUC style. That's cool. Morocco and Drake, one of the ones that look almost exactly the same. Uh, oh, huge fan of the Eries. I think the old ones look so cool. I don't think the converted ones look that bad, but the old ones like there's just so much definition and detail there and the saturation is so lovely once they fix the blur issues i think they'll be even cooler to see on active profiles the elephants also huge glow down when they got converted in my opinion i think the old one again the detail and saturation looks so nice here and the shadows so really glad to see this art back in the game Ixies, I don't think changed very much. I think they're pretty fairly similar, but I do prefer the older pose regardless. Grundos and Jub Jubs, they're so cute. Oh, so happy to see these back. Like the proportions on the old Jub Jub art just looks so much better in my opinion. And it just has like a nice, cute, innocent demeanor to it that I am definitely like very enamored with. Of course, you saw the Kiri on Rico. This one also, huge fan of the older positioning. I don't actually know if this is like anatomically like if it makes sense, I'm not an artist. I don't really think about it. I know that's something that bugs people, but personally, I think this this one looks a lot more like animated and nice. I don't know how else to describe it, but I like it. <laughs> oh, the Techos. 
big fan of this art. Big fan. I was kind of hoping to see this one, but I had a feeling they would use a circle art. I actually misspoke in one of my older version, older, older videos where I was saying like everything carried the circle pose. That's definitely not true, but I think for the most part, the circle pose is chosen, which I prefer just because I think the circle pose tends to look better. Another one that recently got added one -off, as a one-off was the Alien Aisha. Yes, it got brought back and it's been super awesome to see it in the game again. And I like that these one-off colors are being added in on the side in addition to other things being rotated in. It would kind of stink to like have to wait until the very end for like things like MSP or Alien or Coconut to be added. So it's nice that they're just kind of throwing that in at the end. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. They also added nostalgic jelly pets. The jellies are also really... The jellies are also really cute to me. I'm a big fan of a lot of these. I know they're kind of basic, but there's something about them that just feels so nostalgic of old Neopets to me, especially the jelly Shoiru. It really does feel like the old Shoirus. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with just scrolling through Jelly Neo, seeing what's been new. Again, I have been keeping up with what's been being released, but overall, um, I don't think I've been too interested in anything. Even the nostalgic style releases, I was like, all right, these are cool, but my eyes are kind of on things like Robot or Royals. So I think when those get released, I am going to go pretty hard on getting a lot of styles and tokens. So look out for that. We recently had Joyru Day, and unsurprisingly, they added a lot of the elemental wearables, which I am a pretty big fan of the uh, themes that they've been carrying through here so I hope they keep doing it apparently there's like a new avatar floating around and people are trying to figure it out and they've been like throwing out tips here I have no idea what's happening here so I'm just gonna wait till other people figure it out and then I will get it when everyone has done it and it's easy to get um a new collectible series is being released called the little pet pet shop I imagine the bonus will be very highly coveted. They've been doing a pretty good job about releasing items that look pretty good. So I, I, I have, I have a good feeling that the bonus is gonna be fairly cool. Ooh, on April Fools, they did have an event where essentially they just had a bunch of pop-ups show up all, all over the site. Uh, so it started off with basically you log on the site and you got these like inspirational messages as pop-ups all over the site, and you would just close out of them. But after you close out of them for a while you got um, someone who like wanted to talk to you. I guess the person's name was Smile With Me. <laughs> um, eventually offering to uh, sign a contract. And once you do, you uh, would... Actually, I, I forgot what the contract said. But anyways, you got this little wearable mask thing, which I thought was pretty cool. And then after that, things went really creepy. Like that's when this turned into the you know nothing and then sees thinking. And if you kept doing that a little bit longer, then you got an avatar, this one which I actually am a huge fan of. I think they did a really good job with this one. It gives me like Slender Man vibes, kind of. If you're curious to see who the uh, character is behind the mask, um, it's Anjali Neo, and um, it is a character that we are all familiar with. So definitely take a look at that. I don't think it was a teaser for the plot that's coming. Oh, speaking of the plot, Amanda from the Amanda Files hosted the last AMA in March. And the crux of that AMA slash live was to talk about the upcoming plot and um, the plot surrounding like the void within and whatnot. We had TNT Aesop, Jewel, Fally, and Stone all on the screen with Amanda to talk about what's going to be kind of included in the plot, some of the potential storylines and some of the other things and work that went into developing it. And Amanda has made multiple videos talking about the lore and plot about Neopets. So I definitely recommend checking those out. Um, but I think she was the perfect guest to kind of sit there and talk to them about that because as someone who knows nothing about lore and frankly, does not care that much about it <laughs> to be honest <laughs> like even with the plot i'm mostly just looking forward to the functionality and like the battle dome aspect and more about like the trophies and rewards and like getting to talk to people and work with people and like farming points to get the top tier trophies and stuff like that um but as far as like the actual storytelling component of it i'm not too um interested in that side obviously there is a ton of work that goes into it and a ton of people that are interested in it so i'm really happy that they picked someone to host that would actually like be able to engage in the conversation and know what's going on and yeah i know some people were asking me questions about like hey uh where, where, what happened? Like, was there drama? There was no drama at all. Um, I think the intention has always been to have just like a very mixed cast of hosts, like hosting these lives and to not really reuse the same people over and over again. So, I mean, it just happened to be like really convenient for me to be able to host these because like I had already experienced it. And I know that organizing these lives can be really stressful. So I'm sure finding a brand new host and kind of like training them up and getting them ready for it is a whole task in itself. Honestly, it was a little nice to have a break from it, but I um, hope they do invite me back i hope um, there are many more hosting sessions for myself in the future as well as plenty of other content creators out there so uh yeah 
definitely no tea to be shared. It's literally just is what it is. And um, yeah, I'm really happy for other folks to be getting a chance to be in the limelight. So again, that was the bulk of the live. And then they kind of jumped into talking about some like Tales of Decardia stuff with Dom. This isn't really my type of game, so I don't see myself playing it too much unless there's like specific trophies or avatars or rewards tied to it. Actually, I, t I take that back. I probably will play it a bit. Maybe I'll make a video about it, just kind of exploring it. But I don't know if I'll like see myself getting too intensely into it. And then we went into the Q&A portion. Uh, honestly, there was not much new news listed here. It was a lot of questions that I think folks are very interested in knowing more about, but as far as like clear answers to anything, I don't think there was much. It was truly just like, yes, we know it's something that people want and we are working on it, which has always been the answer to things. And I recognize that things take a long time to develop. So they probably don't want to release too much information about timelines or where they what they're working on because they probably don't want to overcommit to anything and like, you know, come back six months down the line and people are like, what happened? You said you would do it. And they're like, oh, actually, turns out when you work on 20 year old code bases, things are a lot harder than you anticipate and you keep coming across road bumps and fires kind of like my job and um you can't commit to the timelines and then you look like a fool so honestly i kind of understand what they're trying to get at and like why they're being so vague about the timelines and stuff um hopefully we see some more updates coming up in the near future and hopefully that leads to a more fun gaming experience and then one of the other updates here was they did talk about neopass and for folks that may not know neopass was released it's like kind of outside of that primary Neopets um, user interface on like a separate website, but you can link all your side accounts together. And by clicking onto each one, you can jump into each of these uh, different accounts without having to log out of one account, log back into one other account, and then doing that back and forth. I was honestly kind of disappointed in the way this was rolled out. I had anticipated the feature being something more like you open your sidebar over here and then there's like a drop down here and you just click the drop down and you click one of these accounts and it just jumps to that account. For me, that would make a much smoother and easy to use experience. I don't know if there was like just a lot of challenges in having it integrated in that way because right now it just feels like bookmarks. I don't know how else to describe it. I would have liked it to be built into the interface. Maybe that is on the way and this is just a first step, but it is what it is. And um, regardless, it still makes kind of navigating the site a lot easier. And I think the other thing that this may set us up for and something that Dom kind of talked about is that Neopets builds that infrastructural layer within Neopets to help us actually be able to connect all of these accounts. I'm hoping that makes it easier for them to implement features that that allows us to shuffle pets around different areas of our accounts and you know send around NC items for example without having to use gift boxes things like that um, could really add on to the total experience of the site and make it a lot more dynamic and easy to navigate and um, I'm hoping that now that they've actually rolled out this Neopass function in the way that they have they can actually roll out other changes more quickly because I feel like it we have been in a few months of like kind of a dead zone I feel of updates and things have been really quiet so hoping for something more major coming soon so I actually have a bit of NC cash that I wanted to spend and I've been meaning to spend it on camera. As you know, I've been taking forever to record, so that's why I haven't been spending it. But I wanted to kind of spend it on some of these new capsules. Well, I wanted to spend it on the old background re-release capsules and I did buy around five of them at some point and got nothing. There was a lot of garbage and it's made it feel not super worth for me to roll these like this, this spring one. Look at how big this pool is. It's enormous and I feel like most of these items are ones I never would want. So why would I roll it this way? Makes no sense. But maybe that's just because I'm a little bit biased and I'm not the biggest fan of the spring aesthetic. I was also hoping that they would release the hidden among the grass foreground at some point this this spring season. I'm hoping I, I think there may still be a chance. I'm keep I'm keeping up hope. So hopefully they just randomly re-release it at some point in the next few months. Oh wait, they do have the retired background mystery capsules. Okay, I'm gonna buy 10 of these. I'm like 99% sure that I'm gonna get garbage that I don't want. But you know what? Whatever. At least it'll be something fun for y'all to watch and experience with me. All right, so I think a lot of the ones I really like are in this 2007 to 2010 bucket. Some of these I just like because they're nostalgic. Autumn back porch background. I remember I was really into this background back in the day and never got my hands on one, so would love to get it. Corridor 31, 317B backgrounds. Um, a big fan of Courtyard Ambush. Garib Tiku background. Been meaning to get one of these forever. I think Smuggler's Cove is in this one. Lost Desert Treasure Room, also so nostalgic for me. Sewing Room, Smugglers. Oh, Top Chop Background. I remember this was the background that everyone wanted back in the day. Um, and then 2011 to 2012. I don't think there's a ton in here that I am a big fan of. 
And if I am a fan of it, it's one that I already have. Yeah, I don't think there's anything too big in this one that I would want to be rolling for. Okay. I feel pretty confident about going for 2007 to 2010. All right, so y'all know what I want. Hoping I get at least one, but I don't want to be too optimistic. Optimism leads to disappointment. All right, Mystery Island Luel background. Starting off weak, starting off weak. Pink Mountain and Cloud background. Wasn't this a die work? Did it? Oh, it's an older die work. Oh, I think this is actually still, yeah, it's worth a decent amount. Laboratory Ray background. Nostalgic, but also not a big fan. <laughs> Sewing room background. Oh, <gasps> okay. I'm pretty happy with that one. That one's very nostalgic for me. It's not very much my aesthetic, I will say, but I think it is something that'll go really well with a lot of pets and at the very least be easy to trade. Exploring Morocco background. I've already gotten one of these from the last batch of capsules I got and I was really annoyed that I got it, but at least I'm using it right now on Rico. So at least it's getting some use, but a second one, I will not be using that. Ugh, Fairyland Light. Isn't that a buyable? Oh, I have like three of those. Something delicious. Well, actually, I got the sewing room, so I can't be. Oh, Lost Desert Treasure Room. Okay, this pack has definitely been a lot better than my last one. So I'm feeling pretty satisfied with what I've gotten already. Like that sewing room one probably just pays for the entire pack by itself. Unted Mansion background. I don't think I have that one. So it does kind of add on to my aesthetic. Extreme Herder 2 backgrounds. Holiday Town backgrounds. All right, I'm not feeling too optimistic that I'll get anything crazy from here, but I won't give up. Meridellian Spring background. I will say, I I have like a weird reaction to some of these because a lot of these were random buyables that you could just get from any capsule for a very long time. So it feels kind of weird to be getting them in like capsules that cost 200 each. Okay, so nothing too crazy after that, but the sewing room background again really kind of pays for itself here. I'm going to go ahead and add these into my dress to impress list so I don't forget about them and then I will be back momentarily. Okay. Something that I thought I was misunderstanding, but now I'm seeing it again. Maybe it's just like a issue with DTI not updating their list yet. But when I first saw these capsules released and I was checking them out on DTI, like a lot of the items still had not been converted to HTML5 yet here, which means they're not visible on pet pages. Like they're still visible in the image form, but if you click into them, like they would not be showing up on this actual pet lookup as an animated version because they're not in HTML5 yet. And I figured that if it's going to be in this pool of re-released items, the least they can do is actually convert everything and i actually said that earlier in the video because i thought um it was still applicable to things like the garib tiku background but it looks like it had been converted and maybe it was like a delay with dti updating but i'm seeing it again here so i'm hoping it's maybe just a update on dti's side that needs to happen but we'll see all right, so I have finished adding them to DTI and I actually want to customize some of my pets to maybe make use of the new items. And I figured I can test out if one of those items that are showing as not being converted yet to HTML5 is actually already converted and it was a dress to impress lag issue maybe. All right, so this is the item that was saying that it had not been converted yet. Oh, it is converted. Okay, it's a dress to impress issue. Sorry, TNT, I should not have blamed you. Wait, how do I submit this? How do I how do I be a good how do I be a good contributor to dress to impress and actually say that it's converted? Whatever, I can't figure it out. Just know that I tried. Y'all saw me try. There was no button there to actually submit anything. Something I really dislike about the Koi is that it sits up really high, so it looks so weird on a lot of backgrounds. Like it's literally in the air here, in the middle of a bunch of grass, so it just does not fit in with a lot of different backgrounds, which makes it really challenging to customize. That's why I ended up using this one because the actual like space where he would sit, be sitting goes all the way back into the background as well. Maybe something like this. Oh, that kind of works, right? Right? Am I crazy? I feel like that kind of works, no? Oh, this is like so not my aesthetic. <laughs> oh, this is like just so much, so much sparkly stuff. Uh, whatever. Whatever, we'll leave it. Maybe Yo -Oh can look different. So while that loads, general life updates, life's been rough. I mentioned that I got promoted maybe a video or two ago. Yeah, it's been pretty rough from a work-life balance perspective. And it just feels like, you know, like when you're at work, obviously sometimes there's fires. Sometimes you just get really busy and like you have to work a little extra or you have to work a little harder than normal to like keep you know, keep the show running. For every time there's something like that, there should be a period where nothing's really happening too heavy and like you can just kind of chill and just do your job and like maintain normal hours. And I feel like I'm not getting that. I feel like I've just been sprinting for so long in this role. It's just back to back to back like hard work 
and like problems coming up every other week and just like so many presentations and so much work and I'm just like so tired. I'm so tired of it. I It's rough. I think that's also partially why I've been so slow with content creating because it's like I finish work and all I want to do is lay in bed and just not think about anything. But I'm hoping things get better soon. I'm going to try to stay optimistic and just think about what I can do moving forward to kind of make the situation better for myself. Honestly, at the end of the day, isn't that all you can really do? Um, otherwise, yeah, I have no social life. Just how I like it. You know, like I've noticed that I've become that friend that just only complains about work all the time. And I hate that that's my brand now. So I'm hoping that once I change my situation, I'm going to have more to talk about. What I'm going for here right now is maybe like a creepy like obviously as an msp poogle he's like a plushie right maybe something creepy like being a menace in the sewing room so like where's my dark filter y'all know the dark vignette filter is like my go-to bestie did this get converted yet no yeah i don't think i like that creepy creature in the background it kind of blocks off a lot of the background i've noticed that the msp poogle is really big so it takes up a lot of the background and in this background it looks like it is actually very proportional with everything else which makes more sense to me so that's why i kind of want to make this work somehow but i'm trying to figure out what items would go well with this customization to still make it kind of look evil and like kind of i don't know dark Customizing is also such a pain because I've noticed that a lot of times if you try to put on something that is not made in HTML5 yet, it lags like pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and save this because I know everything here does not lag. And then every time I hit a lag spike, I'll just refresh and hopefully that helps to mitigate some of that. Oh, <laughs> please TNT, hidden vine foreground. Please. Ah, it doesn't work. It would be amazing if y'all converted that one or just converted all the items. I know it's a, I know it's a lot, but it kind of stinks when you have to jump in and like try to customize with basically with it like not loading every other item. Or at the very least, like let us filter things out that have not been converted yet so that we don't like run into those things. Oh, this looks nice. You know, adding like a spooky aura there. Ugh, I hate that in my immediate response is, oh, maybe a black bat attack. But I add that to everything. Can I be original just like for once in my life? I'm just gonna settle with this. I think this looks okay. Is it better than the toy shelf background that I had on? Not really, but you know what? Sometimes we settle and it's already so blurry. I'm sure nobody could tell anyways. No, wow, I hate that. I really hate that. <laughs> I actually really want to use a plushy Norbu with that background. I think that'd be really cute. Now, who am I going to overwrite into a Norbu? Who would, is the best candidate? How about, no, I was going to say Silvado, but eh, I don't know if I like that decision. I want to kind of keep him as a gray, maybe Ark. No, I like him as a Croc. I want it to be a boy. I'll just do Celia, whatever, whatever. She was supposed to be the one I'm like really flexible with and just do whatever I want with. So I don't want to like hold myself back from that original plan. So I'm going to actually put the toy shelf background back on this character. Character. I just don't think the other ones like I feel like I was forcing it a bit. I was feel like I was forcing it a bit. I'm going to be self-aware here. I'm going to be self-aware and be real with myself. So let's go ahead and remove the supplies. And I'm hoping I get a baby and a plushie. I actually like both. So I'm okay with getting both. If I get the same one twice, I may be a little upset. I may be a little upset. I don't want to be a brat about it, but I may be a little upset. Ideally, we start with plushie. Okay, we got a baby. That's fine. It's fine. But now we get plushie, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, see, this is exactly what I had in mind. Doesn't this look really cute? No, I feel like the filter takes away from the backgrounds. What can I add to enhance? Enhance like this should enhance the blurriness of the NCUCs. I hope they add the music tracks back. I know it's probably like super dated content where, you know, you have random music playing when you go to a pet lookup, but I've always been so enamored by it in general. I don't know. There's just something about it that has always felt so like, what am I going for? Like, it just adds to the vibe. That's what I'm really trying to say. Okay, I'm going nowhere with this. What do I want to do here? Do I not have the right items to do what I want to do? This is not converted, is it? God, gosh dang it. I feel like this is the primary aesthetic that you see on the NC ball nowadays. You like slap a really expensive pastel background on a pet. Then you put on the end of the rainbow beam 
and then you final finalize that with like a really pastel blurry filter right on top and that's done and that's all 20 of their pads oh this one's all this new background is also so cute all right all right all right, all right, all right. kevin focus focus do i just leave it like this i don't want to be that lazy guy that just slaps a background on a pet and calls it done that's lazy. Here's the other thing. Why do I always self-impose random rules that nobody cares about just to make my life harder? Why am I like this? Can someone tell me why I'm like this? You know what? This looks fine. This looks fine. This looks fine. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got a new haircut and I'm, I'm kind of doing it. I'm kind of doing that thing with the with the faux hawk that I said I would do, I know. Like I have the shaved sides. I think I'm like work, I'm gonna work my way to a, a, a wolf cut, but I just need to grow the back of my hair out a bit more, like maybe down to here and then like work on the flow. But I don't know. I think I'm making my way to it. All right. I actually think I popped off with this customization. I'm really proud of this one, but I've had it on wave forever. It's time I move on. It's time I try something new. And that something new is using something old. I feel like this will look really cool if it loads. All right. This is attempt number three of moving on. Please just load. Do I just have too much, too many items in here? Is that the problem? Am I the problem? Was it me? All right, let's see if this loads. Oh, this looks not great. <laughs> I don't like using the same items on two pads at the same time, which I would be doing with this since this is also on arc. So let me use something that is similar, but not the same because that's so much better with these self-imposed rules that I make for myself for absolutely no reason. All right, so this is like attempt number like five at this point of like trying to make this load. Uh, please. <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but I think it's as good as it's gonna get with how laggy things are until I clean out my closet. Oh, my board will get no offers. The PC has been so slow recently. Hopefully things pick up, especially if that purge that's been mentioned actually happens. I think someone asked me what a purge was a while back, but what a purge essentially is, is when TNT goes through really old inactive accounts, like we're talking like a decade of inactivity, and essentially deleting the account and deleting all the pets that are in that account so that the name for both the username and the pet frees up. And people go like bananas over it and they like track different pets that are like potentially going to be deleted and they rush to make that pet one once it gets deleted by tracking like the machine or the, the like um script that runs and actually deletes those pets so it's like a huge event and like every time we've had a purge it's been like a huge thing that we all kind of do and like get excited about it's also very intense and like very emotional for some people so <laughs> i might avoid the public the public a little bit throughout that because i feel like i'll be very overwhelmed by everyone getting super upset by it it's a bit updated now this looks a lot better to me at least so i feel a bit better about that but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to take it because we are not going to spend any more time on that. So I feel like that's basically all I wanted to kind of show you today. And by what I wanted to show you, I really mean I had nothing to show you. I know I've been away for a while, so I just wanted to check in with y'all. Um, finally opened these tarot cards that TNT sent me a month ago and I took forever to open. So I'm really excited I got a chance to open this and share this with y'all. Thank you so much for being patient with me, everyone, and for kind of supporting me through my on and off content creation patterns. Like I said last time, when I'm posting a lot, enjoy it for what it is because there's definitely going to be a a moment when I just stopped posting for a little while but here I am I'm back again trust and believe I'm not gone otherwise I'm just gonna be back whenever I have time and um yeah I may host an AMA at some point who knows maybe no longer maybe they'll never invite me back again I don't know I don't know so with that I think I'm gonna call it a video here thank you all for watching I thank you all for supporting I hope you are all staying safe drinking a lot of water eating a lot of food and I will see you all for the next one bye